Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through AND gate using perceptron. Okay, so I think everyone is ready with a piece of paper, right? So as we are going to solve a problem, I request you to take a piece of paper because this problem is really easy, guys, if you ask me. So it will take around two to three minutes and rarely we could get a problem on this. Okay, yes. So if he wants to ask, he will be asking perceptron definition and he asks ourselves to write an example. That's it. So you can say, take the same values, guys, because it's really easy. Okay, so you can even remember the values also, they are nothing, right? Yes. So let me write down the values. So the weight 1 which he gave is 1.2, weight 2 which he gave is a 0.6, threshold what he gave is a 1 and learning rate what he gave is a 0.5. Okay, so why I am writing all these values means you will understand guys, okay? Yes. So let us start. Okay, so the first step is what are we going to build? We are going to build an AND gate. Okay, so what is the logical table of AND gate guys? So whenever you are mul multiplying it, so you will be getting as a multiplication, some kind of AND, AND means multiplication only, right? So A AND B, okay, okay, yes. So it is 0, 0, 0, 1, right? I hope everyone knows it, right? Yes. So here our goal is on input 0 and on input 0 of two input zeros, you should get 0 as the output, right? Yes. So for understanding, I am drawing the existing perceptron guys. So here we are having A. Here we are having a B and here we are having 1.2, here we are having 0 0.6 and here we are having our perceptron, I will be naming it as a AND, okay, and we are getting an output, that is nothing but A and B. Simple, so this is how our perceptron is currently looking, okay, yes. So even in some books, they might be giving it as a summation, after that they will be giving it as a, in this way also. So I will be drawing this diagram at the end guys, so don't worry, okay. Yes. So let us start. Okay. So let us start with this simple diagram. So basically you will be taking 0 into 1.2. If you remember guys, in book I have written it step by step guys. I will be showing, showing you the book way approach also like how you should solve in your examination also. Don't worry. So basically 0 into 1.2 is a 0 and 0 into 0 0.6 is also 0. So basically I hope everyone remembers right. So w1 x1 plus w2 x2 will be calculating and we will be checking whether it is equal to threshold or not. So if it is equal to or greater than threshold, we will be giving 1, else you will be giving 0. This is the logic guys, okay, based on threshold, okay. So here both we got 0, after adding we got 0, hence our threshold is 0, hence we got 0 as the result, okay. Yes. So similarly, so if you want this in step by step, you can check in the book. So basically our value A is 0. B is 0 and what we want is also 0. So wi xi is equal to wi into a plus w2 into b. So this weight is 1.2 and this weight is 0.6. This b is 0, this a is 0. So we got 0. So wi xi is not greater than threshold, that is a 1. So the output is 0 and our output is equal to the target. Hence we can continue. Got it? Yes. So you can write in your book in that way, in your examination. So similarly continue to second one. So basically 0 into 1.2 is 0. 1 into 0 0.6, it is 0 0.6, that is equals to 1. So, that is equals to 0 0.6. So, basically 0 0.6 is greater than 1? No. Hence, this is also equal to 0. Wow, we passed two cases in the first way, okay. Let us continue to the third case, that is a 1, 0. So, 1 into 1.2, it is 1.2 plus 0 into 0 0.6, that is 0. So, we got 1.2. So, basically we are greater than or equal to 1.2. Hence, the, ex the what we get is 1, but it is not matching. Okay, so hence we need to update the weights. Okay, so if you recall the formula looked like this, right? So we need to update. So here we have to stop, we have to restart again. So we, I'm just crossing them off. So if you recall the formula which we wrote is wi is equals to wi plus n of t minus o into xi. Okay, in simple words, let us calculate for w1 guys. So weight 1 is 1.2, right? So what is weight 1? It is 1.2 plus what is our n? That is nothing but activation, uh, learning value okay so that is nothing but 0.5 into what is our target we want 0 what are we getting that is a 1 what is our xi so basically xi is nothing but a guys so what is our input which is a 0 so what will be getting so 1.2 plus 0 0.5 okay into 0 okay so just a second guys Okay, so sorry, our xi is a 1, right? So what is the value of a? It is 1, right? Okay, so 0 0.5. So here it will become some minus minus 0 0.5 that you'll be getting 0 0.7. So your updated weight now is 0 0.7. So instead of using 1.2, now you should use 1.7. Got it? So your weight has been updated. So let us continue for w2 also. So w2, what is original weight? It is 0 0.6 plus what is our learning function? 0 0.5. What we want 
is a zero what we have got is one and here it is zero so it indirectly means zero it is there is no change that is 0 0.6 only so now let us continue so i'll be writing here w1 w2 again w1 is equals to 0 0.1 w2 is equals to 0 0.6 so now directly by saying only you will say 0 0 1 so directly by seeing only 0 into this is 0 0 into this is 0 so we got 0 similarly 0 into this is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0.6 we got 0 0.6 but it indirectly equals to 0 similarly 0 0.7 plus 0 is equals to 0 0.7 which is indirectly equal to 0 at the end 0 0.7 plus 0 0.6 which is nothing but 0. 14, 13, 0 0.13, right? Sorry, 1.3, right? Yes. So at the end, we got it is equals to 1. So at the end, we got a 0, 0, 0 and 1. So indirectly, we have constructed the perceptron. So our perceptron will look in this way, guys. So A, B, our first weight is 0.7, our next weight is 0.6 and here is our perceptron. So here we are adding them and the uh, function is nothing but activation function is value the threshold is a one and we'll be getting the output so this is the diagram you can draw so i have just wrote in a rough way right so if you write it step by step it will take around half to two sides guys one page to two sides okay yes so you can write it in this way step by step so you can just refer the book guys so i have written it step by step and once i have wrote for one part step by step so here again i wrote it one remember one thing guys so whenever you have updated the weights you should restart the game guys if you continue the game you will end up with wrong answer maybe here, if you continue, you will get the same answer. But in some situations, you might end up at the wrong answer. So that is the reason why you need to restart the game. Again, you'll be cross-checking them. You'll be getting final output exactly as per requirement. Then you draw the perception, guys. That's it. So this is the question you can say. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through our gate, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.